She says that's the trouble with reality. It's taken far too seriously. I do hope God is good to me and Santa Claus to the children. Celebrate the chorus. This part is over. I'm going home. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm crooning over here. Hey, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Into the Music. My name is Greg, and I have, I think, what is a treat. Um, it's a treat, really, for myself. <laughs> I don't know how many people are going to watch this. I'm really hoping that people will connect with this band, An Emotional Fish. Uh, this song, Celebrate, uh, came out in 1990. All right, so we're talking about um, 30 years, right? Well, 31 years. Uh, going on 32. It's a long time. Um, but I remember it like yesterday, you know, this song came on, uh, I was at the height of uh, the new wave um, experience for me. You know, I was loving listening to all these songs uh, from this radio station, WLIR, uh, which became WDRE. And it was a local station that just really opened up um, this amazing music that was coming from all different areas from overseas. Um, even some bands here in the States, but you know, a lot of the post-punk and the new wave was really coming from the UK, uh, coming, I think from Australia, um, coming from Ireland where this band is from, I believe. And so, yeah, you know, it's so an emotional fish. People might be like, you know, wait a minute. I know that band, but didn't they change their name? I mean, I just found this out just recently in preparing for this, uh, reaction, so now they're called Jerry Fish and the Mud Bug Club. And actually, when I was typing in Celebrate, it's like, well, yeah, this band does that song. I'm like, no, 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 no. They were known as an emotional fish. Um, I don't know why they, you know, named themselves that band name way back when. But, you know, that's the band that I know uh, that did the song. So anyway, and why am I? kind of doing a song who requested it no one i've been waiting for someone <laughs> to request this uh no one has no one has even mentioned one thing about emotional fish so should that tell me that don't even do <laughs> this song you're not gonna get any views you know what um i'm used to some of the videos that we put out i put out you know getting like minimal views and that's okay i mean you know sometimes it's just just labor of love you know, and I truly love the song, you know, as, as I kind of go back, you know, way back in the years and I put this one out, put that one out, you know, this song has come to mind. I really hope that people jump on this and listen to this. It's a great song. Uh, without further ado, I know the bar is like really raised high, but I'm thinking people who are going to watch this, they connect, they know the song. And it's like, wow, I haven't heard this in years. Um, either way, however you came here. Uh, Hope you enjoy. An emotional fish, celebrate. Uh, that bass. Stranger. He claims he's 
dangerous to be innocent You're the victim every time Histories of insanity Intruding on the scene Celebrate This party's over I'm going home Ah, that was great. What a fun trip backwards, huh, man? Yeah, that was cool. Um, yeah, for a song that didn't have any chorus, <laughs> it's just like kind of get on the train, train takes off, takes you to the next stop, you know? And for like the three minutes and change or so, you know, you just, you're moving, right? And it's just interesting, again, no chorus, Um just three verses right there, but just just was just built on that sound, you know, on that bass line. Um, and before you knew it, you know, the ride was over. But man, exhilarating, I think. Um, I love that song. All right, cool. Uh, I'll talk to everyone on the other side. Yeah, that song is just as fresh, is just as energetic, rocking as it was 31 years ago. Just incredible, really. Um, it's... Uh, you know, I, 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 it, it, it was a band that I was hoping that would have legs, you know, and come up with more stuff. You know, there's another song, I think, off that same album that I kind of liked, but, um, you know, I don't know if there was any internal strife or, you know, um, you know, what, what was sort of working against them, um, having longevity, you know, putting out more great stuff, you know. Um, I'm going to look into the information on Wiki. You know, they might have longevity, just they may not, they just may not have songs that made it to the United States. I mean, this was one of those that, you know, at that time broke free. You know, there was a lot of bands that were kind of like, you know, able to get uh, some songs over to us, you know, I mean, Depeche Mode, um, Ned's Atomic Dustbin, you know, song made it over here. You know, it was that radio station. It was a college radio stations that were taking a chance and local radio stations that were sort of, um, you know, take a chance on a new wave. And there was a big audience here in the United States, I think, you know, back at that time. I was one of them. Um, and uh, I'm fortunate, yeah. But this song was just, uh, you know, so this was kind of at the height, you know, with all this great stuff. And um, what's interesting is this does not have, like, any chorus, right? It doesn't really have a bridge. I mean, it's got, like, a musical bridge kind of from one verse to the next verse, right? I mean, I guess that's what you call it, but um yeah there's really no break you know there's no there's no change up you know and yet to me it's just it doesn't get boring you know it's to me it's a one two three verse thing but it's just it's got the energy you know it has his interest in sort of deep voice you know it's got some edge to it you know there's a little anger you know there's a little bit but you know nothing like over the top you know but he's got something to say you know, um, got some attitude, maybe not anger, attitude behind the voice. Um, and the bass is really great, you know, uh, and it's, it's well produced too. And just the whole package. I think it's great. Uh, it's just, you know, 31 years later, you know, and it still resonates with me. 
So let me uh, pull up the information that I have on this song, on this band. So Emotional Fish, they are an alternative rock band from Dublin, Ireland. Uh, they were formed in 1988 and consisted of Gerard Whelan, uh, Whelan or Whelan, a uh, founding member, lead vocals, percussion. Uh, Enda Wyatt, founding member, songwriter, bass, vocals, keyboards. Martin Murphy played the drums, percussion, and David Frew, guitars and vocals. Their musical influences included The Clash, The Doors, David Bowie, Iggy Pop, and T-Rex. Did not know that until just now. In the late 80s and early 90s, this band was signed to Mother Records in Ireland, Warner Brothers Records in Europe, and Atlantic Records in America. They were personally signed to Atlantic by um, Ahmet Ertegun, right? Uh, after seeing, he was a big time, uh, big time record guy. Yeah. Uh, after seeing them, I think he might have even been a producer many, many, many years ago. Uh, after seeing them play a sold out concert at the Baggett Inn, an emotional fish supported U2. Yeah, I, I had known that. Simple Minds, I didn't know that. On tours of Europe, also supporting Blondie, Depeche Mode, and others. I think they played with U2 um, uh, for a while there. Uh, so, so Gerard, who's the vocalist, he met bassist Enda Wyatt in a band that Wieland, Whelan was auditioning for. Uh, he joined the band, but it broke up soon after. So after the breakup, Gerard and Enda formed their own band. They originally performed alone and recorded their works on a four-track tape recorder. I'm reading off a wiki. After a year, Gerard brought his friend David Frew into the band. And in 1988, they decided to name the band An Emotional Fish. And it's not telling me where they came up with the name. I mean, how do you, <laughs> how does this uh, contributor <laughs> who's putting great information in about this band is not telling me why they named themselves that name? It's such an unusual name. In 89, they signed to Independent Mother Records to release their first single, Cry Like a Baby, Gray Matter. Uh, and then it was followed by Celebrate, which hit the top 10 in the Irish chart, number 46 in the UK singles chart in June 1990, where it remained in that listing for five weeks. Uh, college radio stations uh, began to pick up the song. It received significant airplay and eventually reached the top five in the US Modern Rock Tracks chart. Atlantic Records signed the band and re-released Grey Matter in the US and released their debut album internationally. Oh, this is interesting. Celebrate was covered in Italian by singer-songwriter Vasco Rossi in his 1993 album, um, Gli Spari Sopra, <laughs> which went, I'm just laughing because I hope I actually uh, pronounced that right, which went platinum 10 times. I wonder if I'll get some Italian folks, uh, folks who are here because of Mona Skin, and they might like, oh my God, celebrate, celebration time, and jump on. Wait, this is not the song. <laughs> it's not Vasco. Um, no, but this actually was you know, created by this band. This was the genesis. Yeah, from what I'm gathering here from Wiki, it looks like you know they really reached their peak in the United States with um, with that debut album and celebrate. And there was some years of inactivity, and then in 2002, uh, Whalen formed a new band, Jerry Fish and the Mud Bug Club with a new style and musical presence in which he continued to work with Enda Wyatt. And they put a couple of albums out and then they've had some reunions. Oh, so this is sad. So Martin Murphy, the drummer, he died in January, 2017. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, so yeah. And let me just go to the lyrics here. Lyrics are really cool. Uh, so she insists that she's a lunatic closer to the bone. She hardly ever visits upstairs. We'll ride the telephone. Well, I guess beauty does what beauty does best. It's beautiful. She says that's the trouble with reality. It's taken far too seriously. I do hope God is good to me and Santa Claus to the children. Celebrate the chorus. This part is over. I'm going home. <laughs> Sorry. I'm crooning over here. Celebrate. This party's over. I'm going home. 
His essential, verse 2, his essential complications are hung up on confused. It's a planet full of traffic lights and traffic light abuses. I always love that line. Um, it's true. <laughs> We're just lawbreakers here. But that's no stranger than strange or any other stranger. He claims it's dangerous to be innocent because you're the victim every time. Histories of insanity intruding on the scene. Yeah, that's to be in innocent, then you're the victim, right? Um, it's almost like that good guys finish last kind of line. Uh, and then the chorus celebrate, this party's over, I'm going home. And in the last verse, histories of insanity intruding on the scene. Even if your problem is the problem, do we have to play this game in all a dizzy thought for anyone to shoulder? See, that's the trouble with reality. It's taken far too seriously. I do hope God is good to me and Santa Claus to the children. Celebrate. This party's over and I'm going home. So I do think that it's kind of abstract, the lyrics. I mean, it's kind of, you know, sort of examines life a bit. Um, you know, this whole thing about reality. Uh, and, you know, the line and Santa Claus is good to me. I mean, there are people out there. Um, I mean, this was written 31 years ago. I mean, I think the world gets more interesting <laughs> every day, month, and year. Um, so, uh, and reality to me is, well, you know, I guess social media and stuff, you know, how much reality is really coming through, you know, uh, I think there's still sort of distorted sort of reality, but, um, you know, I know that my kids, I think my kids, you know, uh, compared to when I grew up, had a really, you know, is, they're just, they're, they're not sheltered from the world out there. You know, it's kind of beaming right into, you know, right where they are, you know, uh, at a young age, you know, just a lot of reality, <laughs> you know, and um, kind of made it difficult for them to really be sheltered with the Santa Claus thing and everything and everything's going to be good, you know, lyrics and and the music uh, and that voice and the attitude and the whole thing. So I'm glad I did this, you know, uh, celebrate an emotional fish. Uh, folks out there, let me know if you know this band, you know, if you remember this band uh, and how much you liked it or you didn't like it, this song. Um, is it one of those that like brings you back many years ago and you remember like, you know, um, that particular year and, and, you know, what you look like and, what you were doing, what your life was about at that point, you know, and stuff like that. I mean, I do. So let me know. In the meantime, I'll see everyone out there on the next episode of Into the Music. <laughs>